Hello, uh, Jeremy Finker here, Riverbend Wealth Management in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, here to share with you a little bit about the sunset that's going to happen with individual income tax brackets um, in 2026. So in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act that took place in 2018, they set bracket levels for each um, amount of earned income. And you can see those in the chart here. Um, and you can also see the ones from married filing jointly as well. What you're going to notice is in 2024, those brackets for the 12, 22, 24, 32% are lower than they will be in 2026. The 12 goes to 15%, the 22 goes to 25%, and the 24% bracket goes up by 4% to 28%. And the 32% goes up by 1%. What does that really mean? Well, what that means is if you're in a lower tax bracket today, you may be in a higher tax bracket in the future. And so what you could do is start planning out things tax-wise. Um, what are some of the things that you can do? Roth conversions. You could take some pre-tax money from your IRA, convert that over to a Roth IRA, whatever dollar amount you choose, You'll have to pay ordinary income taxes on, but you may have to pay 12% instead of future 15% or 22% instead of 25%. So you'll be paying a little bit, you may pay a little bit lower taxes today than you would be in the future. This is something that you could take it, potentially take advantage of in the next two years before the sunset provision ends and tax practice, and tax practice change in 2026. Now, again, this is what the current rules are. Obviously, things can change, but this is something you may want to prepare for. All right. If you get any questions about anything or on how this may apply with you, certainly feel free to give us a call over here at Riverbend Wealth Management, 843-970-1049, or email me at jeremyfinger at riverbendwm.com. And for all you compliance people out there, you can see the disclosures on the next slide. Thank you and have a great week.